Okay, so this is my newest drainage project. As you can see, my my man Sot is digging the ditch that I, I, I dug it quickly and now he's following behind me making it bigger and cleaner but what we're eventually going to do is we're going to dig that one meter so about three feet into the ground but drainage tile in the bottom and then put a cement wall on top of it and then make a, a road that goes right across it and up the side about six feet and this big white thing here this has got to be buried in the ground as deep as it can go I think it's about it's actually more than three feet I have to get it in the in about three feet pump I got to put a lot of holes in it and then put it into the ground and backfill it with clear stone and that's gonna pick up all the water pressure from the other side which is my problem that the water pressure so much it's just look look here look see that that is water coming out of the swimming pool from the bottom because there's so much pressure down there that it's just pushing it out and when I get the water gets higher it pushes it out harder if it gets to the top, it could be like really moving. So I've got to build in a system that allows all the water to move, never get stopped. Because if the water doesn't move, then it saturates the soil. The soil becomes mud and the whole thing collapses. So this is probably the most important part of the project right here on the bottom of the other side and we've certainly had a lot of muck and look at my road now to get in <laughs> it's a disaster I can't even get in and I'm doing all this with only manpower no machines like I don't know how it's, it's done but it's done see look at can you see that this is what I've done here. I've put in a culvert, a big cement culvert under the road. And see that water coming down there? That is from the bottom of the swimming pool, or I mean the lake. Okay, back to work.